Now, let me just remind you something that uh, Mr. Tucker said at the very beginning, that SES doesn't take a stand on the age of the earth to the consternation of a lot of my young earth associates. They think we should take a stand. We don't. The International Council on Biblical Inerrancy didn't take a stand. They regarded disputes over the age of the earth to be a, a, a dispute over interpretation, not inerrancy. Henry Morris signed the, uh, the ICBI statement. I've got a picture of his actual autograph where he signed the original ICBI. So, it, and I would agree with that. Yeah, it's a matter of interpretation. It's not a matter of, of uh, in, inerrancy. But let me remind you that in, the, in light of the fact that the seminary doesn't take a stand, we have both old earth and young earth faculty. So don't take anything I'm saying that would, could be leveraged as an argument for young earth and an enthusiasm about it to be me speaking for the seminary. This is just me speaking as a faculty, but not for the school. I'm allowed to have my young earth views as some of the other faculties are allowed to not uh, have their uh, young earth views or to have their old right. earth views. Now, I know young earth creationists often will say, but not pulling the trigger on that would be like not pulling the trigger on whether you thought Adam was an allegorical figure or not. So if somebody read their Bible and said, well, I think Adam is just an allegory. He wasn't a real historical figure. I think we would all break out in a rash over that and say, well, no, 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 no. that's not a matter of interpretation. That's just, that's just a denial of the narrative to say that he's allegory. The, the key that I would encourage you to, to look into is whether or not, you know my opinion, you know uh, Ken's opinion, is whether or not taking the days of Genesis as literal 24-hour days or not is, is like taking Adam as allegory or not. I would argue, no, it's not the same in principle. I know, I think Ken would disagree with me. It is the same in principle. That's part of what this debate is about. So I, I'm in this odd position of defending in principle what a Hugh Ross might do while disagreeing with what he comes to conclude. And by the way, to, if you're an old earth creationist here, and I say, well, I'm a faculty at SES, we don't take a stand, but I'm young earth, you might be heartened to know I'm not an Old Testament scholar and I'm not a scientist. So basically, the two most relevant disciplines to the whole conversation, I don't really know much about, so my opinion probably isn't worth a whole lot. What I'm interested in is the philosophical dimension of this about the sort of principled issues of how we make these judgments about things that the Bible says and what it uh, doesn't say.